Hi, I'm John Ombler from the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. I'm talking to you today from the In The Know hub at the Eastgate Mall. The In The Know hub is one of the recent initiatives to try to help people who are still dealing with many problems that they're dealing with with their repair and rebuild program. With me today I have Brian Parker who's the manager of the In The Know hub. Brian, this has been a great success. Yes, it uh, has uh, been a great success so far, John. We've uh, had 1,500 people through the door to date, and the biggest uh, response we've had from the people has been about the face-to-face, -face, yeah. uh, the ability to come and sit down with the different services in the room and yeah. talk to a person, a real person, mm. a about their problems and someone who's going to listen yeah. to those and give them a good reference. And, and Brian, um, which different organisations are represented here? Well, we have uh, the Earthquake Support Service, uh, CTAS, which is the accommodation service. We have Residential Advisory Service, which is free uh, legal advice and technical advice. We have the Earthquake um, Commission, the EQC support team here. You can talk face to face. We have council here as well. Uh, and we have our own community team here who do the initial welcome and um, listen to yeah. the issues that people have. That's fantastic. And so on an average day, you're getting how many through? On an average day at the moment, we're averaging around 60 people a day, uh, and so people are sitting down and being referred to the services. About 30 people actually sit down, yeah. the remainder are, are taking pamphlets and information yeah. from the hub. So yeah. it's And, and you're, you're open which days and which hours? Monday to Thursday from 9 till 6, uh, and on Thursday late night we go to 8 o'clock. And the wonderful thing about Thursday is we also have seminars from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock yeah. and from 6 to 7 where we are talking about specialist topics mm. and give the public a chance to ask questions and have those questions answered, which is a very important part of this process. Yeah, and do people need to, to book in to come to one of those seminars? Yes. Yep. So, and and um, how do they do that? So they can come into the hub here and we can book them into that or they can call the Sarah number, 0800 yeah. Sarah. Uh, to book in and we'll put them in because we can only fit 40 people in the room. Mm. Uh, of course we'd like more but it's just uh, yeah. the whole resourcing yeah. situation. And, and what are the sorts of problems that people can, can come and talk with people here about and, and are they getting resolved? What happens? Pretty much anything to do with earthquake, you know, issues yeah. which, you know, uh, who, do I, how, who do I go to to find out more about accommodation or my, what's a scope or what's a DRA and actually I've got repair yeah. problems and they haven't been fixed probably. Anything and everything to do with this process of getting through the recovery, they can come and talk to someone here and we would certainly take our time to listen and try and give them a referral to the right agency which will give them good support and hopefully some good answers about the next step for them. Well, it's a fantastic service. Um, we really appreciate what you're doing. I know the public really appreciate it. The work that you're doing and all of the people here at the, uh, at the In The Know Hub at the East Game Mall. Thanks very much, John. Good, thank you. thank you. So I've been talking to Brian Parker at the In The Know Hub at the East Gate Mall. If you've still got problems with your repair and rebuild processes and you've got questions you've always wanted to ask, there are people here who can help you. Or you can go to inthenow.org.nz. It's been a big few weeks for the recovery. Just recently we saw the opening of the first half of the bus interchange. This $53 million facility is real state of the art. It's not looking like a bus interchange to me, it's looking more like an international airport. We had several thousand people through in the first day and a great reception. The second and final part of the bus interchange will be opened by the middle of the year and it's expected that by 2041 we'll have 70,000 people per day using this bus, bus interchange. Also recently, the design for the earthquake memorial was announced. We were fortunate to have the designer, the winner of the design competition, Gregor Vezjak from Slovenia, visit us uh, for the announcement of his design. He'll now be working with a number of local people to finalise the design before construction starts on this project. It's expected to have it finally completed by February 2017. It's particularly good to have Gregor here, he's a, a wonderful chap and to be able to have a nice guy like that design this memorial for us was a real pleasure. You can read about these and many other stories in the future Christchurch update which is going to be in your letterboxes this coming weekend.